Hi friends, welcome to testing to Terrace point. This is Lokesh Gorantla and today we are going to discussing about checkbox and radio button how we can able to handle. Okay, how many options we have those things we will see. Uh, okay, basically what is radio button? A radio button we can able to choose any one of them. Okay, the male or female, anything. Any one of them while we are filling for application while applying some jobs or some portals, anything. There we can able to choose our male or female, right? Any one of them we can choose. We can't able to choose for both, right? Any one of them option we can able to choose. Then whether we are choosed perfect one or not, we need to handle in automation. We need to do for some assertion. How we can able to do that particular radio button, whether we are able to check or not. Okay, before checking, by default, whenever you page your refresh, now see there is no nothing selected. It's an empty. Okay. In case if you have already checked, then we need to see before uh, uh, checking the checkbox. So checking the radio button, we need to check whether that already checked or not. If it is checked, then we need to check. Means we need to click that particular radio button. Otherwise, we should not click. If it is uh, already clicked means already selected that particular radio button then only we need to check this this kind of assertions how we can able to apply for this we need to take this url i'm going to take the url and here i'm going to write for this tab in the test case and i'm going to create for describe And the describe I'm going to create for my suit radio and checkbox. Okay, this is a demo for checkbox both the cases, right? That's why I'm going to create like this. And then I'm going to create for test case that related to the radio button. Okay, and the suit I'm going to create. And here cy dot visit. Okay, then I'm going to provide for my URL. Then I need to use for get function to get the element of that particular radio button. Okay, I'm going to take for exact radio button that is uh, mail. Okay, if I inspect that particular element, that default is mail is presented by using ID. For ID indication, I can able to go ahead for using hash to identify that mail and then before uh, clicking for that particular choosing radio button, before we need to check some assertion. That is, that particular radio button is visible or not. For this, we need to use for should, right? Should, then I need to use for b.visible. Okay, if it is visible, then only we need to go and check. If it is visible, then also one more condition that is checked or not, we need to choose right then we need to use for b single quotation not dot b dot checked if it is not checked then you need to go for check then go for check that particular checkbox then you need to do it for one more time assertion that is called b dot checked b dot checked Okay, if it is already checked, if it is not selected, then only you need to check, then only you need to verify whether it is checked or not. This is a condition. Okay, now the program is completed. We need to open for Cypress. For Cypress opening, npx Cypress open. If you want to run in a command line type of, then means you need to use for npx Cypress run and we need to specify iphone 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 spec and then we need to choose for which spec you want to run and then you can provide it with the browser in headed mode okay then i'm going to run for that particular one because if you are not make it for headed mode then it will run for without browser now my website is going to launch now you can see my three assertions perfect and also mail is selected. Okay. There's a one kind of operation. 
but in case maybe you'll get it one question if i use not be selected if i use for be selected whether our script will be fail or not definitely will get question right now you can see it is waiting see now failed now if you go down checkbox is not checked because it is stopped itself visibility of assertion itself that visibility is done but when you are going to check for checkbox is checked or not if it is already checked means you need to jump out of that like that we are used right now you can see to be checked already checked it is showing okay so already checked or not we are checking but it is not already checked it is not uh, checked that's why our script is failed okay and even you can able to apply the similar format for uh, mail also okay mail also we can able to use for similar format of script we can able to use the same script okay and then we need to use for female okay and here to be visible place i'm going to use for exist if it is an exist not to be checked then you need to check the checkbox okay then i'm going to save now and you can see first it will check that mail checkbox then it will go for checking for now you can see female is selected okay if you move over and i'll see now checkbox it is checked for male then again checkbox is checked for female okay like this we can able to check okay the, for the radio button we can able to do this kind of operations now how we can able to do for radio button sorry now checkbox now we done for radio button the similar format how we can able to do for checkbox now visit then we need to see the checkbox purpose we can now sunday is the checkbox right my inside sunday i'm going to take the sunday id is presented i can able to go ahead for directly and i can now i want to run only for this particular concept that then, then i can able to use for dot only <clears throat> now cy dot get and inside that i can able to use for hash and id value then i can use for should should i can able to use for b dot visible okay first one i can able to use for should okay then i can able to use and and then i can able to use for whether i already if it is, it is not selected right then i can able to use not be checked not be checked okay the condition is satisfied then only we can able to check the checkbox this is the one condition okay then i can able to use for another and b dot checked okay now you can save and see now the radio button should be checked and the value will be selected now see three completed and may, uh, monday also selected okay even we can able to choose this monday okay now another format now we are used for directly here there is a check checked okay with the directly sunday also right now again i want to use uh, this format whether it will work or not not sure i'll ch check one more time monday also i'm using check the monday okay now you can see this if it is not work means we will go for another format monday is not checked but failed because we are using for uh, sunday uh, checkbox path sunday checkbox path now we are trying to click for sunday not is work right then how we can able to work to select for monday then take the type type is the one it will indicate for multiple values not only type we can able to choose for different now it is showing for one out of 13 we need to choose for 
uh, seven values then i can go ahead here to use the input is my tag name dot class name then i can able to attribute then you can able to see one out of seven then i'll take this particular path comes to here then i'll uh, delete this one i'll comment it and enter cy dot get then i'm going to use for single and then check if i use the check box if i use a checked okay check if i use a check if i comment run now you can you can able to see all the check box will be checked see seven check boxes are checked all the check boxes okay I don't want to check the all the check boxes, but I want to check only for Monday. Now I copy the Monday name. Now single quotation I'm going to use for Monday. Now save and run. multiple values now we can see one more time we'll see first value we'll see for first value selection first and save whether you can able to select the first value as a sunday Yeah, first value is checked. Okay, even you can able to use for assertion. Okay, Sunday whether it is selected or not type of that. Okay, should be checked. Those kind of information we can able to do for checking the operation. Okay, even we can able to after checked, then we can able to have the value whether it is checked or not. That kind of action also we can able to perform. Okay. And I want to do for last option as well. I can able to take the path, this one, and I'll mention here. And I'll mention for last. Okay, even last value that is, comes here Saturday. Okay, so, uh, Sunday and Saturday came. Okay, now I want to select value. Now previous what happened, I take four visibility text of Sunday and Monday like this, right? That's why my checkbox is not checked. Now we can able to take the value of that particular checkbox. That is like if you inspect any one of element. Okay. Now you can see here there is a value attribute is there. Okay. I'll, if you are not able to visible, I'll copy the element. Copy the element. Now we can see here okay here you can able to see value attribute this one sunday is the value attribute then we can able to go ahead here now i can able to copy this entire path now we can do it here now here sunday i don't want sunday now i'll go for monday i'll go for monday Monday value. This is a Monday, all small letters. Then I'll delete for last value. Then inside this uh, double quote, single quotation, I can provide for Monday. Okay, now I'm saving. Even I want to see for first and last and also Monday value to check. Now you can see three options. Whenever you want to check that by using for value, you need to provide the checkbox value attribute. I have to take the value attribute value and you need to pass but i want to check the multiple values i want to check the multiple value now tuesday also present here right for the tuesday what is the value of the tuesday all the small letters yes this is also small letters then you can comes to your code now monday place just you need to use for array format and comma and a single quotation again and paste it and array close 
Okay, now you can save it. Now you can see, now Monday and Tuesday both should be checked. Now see, Tuesday also select. Okay, now whether it is uh, selected or not means we can able to, we can provide for and selected and selected and selected. If B dot selected, if you mention this B dot selected, even it will provide for assertion as well. See, assertion got done. Even assertion also it is provided for two values are checked and also verified for the value. And the seven values we are going to check for Monday and Tuesday. And the two values are assertions. Okay. Like this, it will give you for in detail format of assertions. There are a couple of different different of uh, assertions are presented. If you check here, I hope already assertion in Cypress. If you click the assertion tab and here there are a lot of assertions are presented. You can go ahead and try for one by one. You can able to even undefined in case if that particular element is not presented inside uh, our DOM, then you can able to is undefined. In case the text box have empty value, the text box is empty value. If you want to verify that as well, you can able to use B dot visible empty. Okay, if something that particular thing having arguments, you want to check the arguments, then you can able to see this one. And if you want to use a equal condition, you can able to equal. Okay, that equal condition we already seen in the last. That uh, length value also we saw, right? We have so many assertions here. One by one, all assertions it is presented. You can try one by one. If you more practice, then you can able to learn more on Cypress. There's a only one option for us, okay? Even contents option is there. That contents I will show you different because chai jQuery format of contents it is presented by without using the get option, right? Without using get, we can able to use for contents. That is another option, okay? Now here we are going to see only for radio button and uh, checkbox. That's why I'm going to show you this much, okay? And even we have, there is one more concept that is a for, for each one, for each and then condition you can able to use for then condition and we can able to validate. We can create one function and get the value and then we need to click the value, uh, means enter that. Okay, that is also one kind of approach it is there. Okay, that also we can see in later video sessions. Okay, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.